Welcome to the warm-up presented by Seifert Orange Funeral Home. I'm Mark Kuntz. Andy Lynch will join us momentarily as we are at Shawnee to talk with the Indians and new Shawnee head coach John Carpenter. John, welcome to the warm-up. First year here at Shawnee. You've been in the building since, what, February, I want to say. February. How well do you know your, your guys at this point? We've spent a lot of time together. Uh, we started out in the weight room in the spring and, and going into the summer. Uh, so we've spent a lot of time together. We're still building that team, though. You know, it takes a long time, uh, first year, to you know, create and build some relationships. Coming off of a 2-8 and eight season, got wins over St. Mary's and Defiance. Are, are those, those the type of victories you can build on going into the 2015 year? They are. St. Mary's and Defiance are both uh, two well-coached, solid teams, especially um, in this conference. Uh, they're two impressive wins. So there, something happened where the team came together to pull out the victories. Certainly a coaching staff for you with a blend of some young faces and some familiar faces for the Shawnee coaches. Yes, uh, Steve Owen and Mike Lewis, uh, coach on the staff last year, uh, both tremendous coaches and tremendous people. Uh, then we have two new coaches, uh, Josh Kristoff and Jesse Norris. Jesse Norris played uh, here for one year, and he was a, a heck of a wide receiver to my understanding. <laughs> How important is it to have that mix of, I mean, obviously you're a younger guy, first year as a head coach, how important is it to have that mix of, of veteran coaches with alongside you? Uh, it, it's, it's extremely important, but it's also, you have to look at the age group. You, you go from, you have old guys and you have some young guys. And, and I didn't mention my crown jewel is Herb Ford, uh, who he hired as well. And he runs our fellowship with our uh, our team as well and we do a tremendous job in building team culture so that's what we're trying to build right now so that's why those coaches were hired and that's their job assignment right now is to build help build team culture and you have guys that are old and they they have families of three and then you have single guys that just got married or guys that used to be single <laughs> excuse me that are married now and have zero kids and then you have uh you know some single coaches there. So there's a wide variety of guys with a whole bunch of experiences. Part of that culture, we saw the kids wearing Train Like Warriors t-shirts. Tell us about what that means and how you're trying to instill into your players with that mentality. We did the Train Like a Warrior kind of paralleled with our military game. The military means the world to me. Our armed forces, I appreciate them more than, more than anything. I had family members that served in the armed forces. And the way that our U.S. military trains is a special way. Uh, it, there's a unit power there that's unbreakable, and that's why we have the best military defense in the, con or in the world. And we brought in Marines from Lima uh, to teach us some of those team concepts that they, that they study, and they also uh, put us through a little workout, a combat fitness staff, test which was pretty pretty strenuous too so uh, those all go together for us to appreciate and respect our armed forces and our U.S. military and to learn something as as players as adolescents. Yeah certainly last year serving as a GA with Ohio State we know Urban Myers power of the unit how much that paid off for the Buckeyes last year how much do you take from what you learned at Ohio State what you learned at Notre Dame with Brian Kelly what you learned at Cincinnati how much do you take from those guys as you start as, as your coaching career not to mention your family's history in football as well. Everything. As you go along, you pick up a thing here or there. Football is a game that has 11 players in three phases of the game. And you have full padded equipment. It's a special game. There's multiple plays on defense, offense, special teams, different types of strategies. You learn something every day. So being with those great coaches helped me tremendously. But even here, since February, Shawnee, I've learned so much about football that I never knew. And those guys, more than anybody, taught me that, that every day you'll continue to learn something new that just can blow your mind. Early in camp, still a few weeks away before that opener with Jefferson, what have you learned about the Shawnee team so far? They want to be great. They want to be great. And since I've come in as the coach, I've explained to them, and we've built this team culture that – I can't play the games, and our coaches can't play the games for them, and they have to fight through the battle together. And that's something that we are trying to build an understanding of so that we can fight together through it as coaches and players to be victorious. What 
do you need to get accomplished before that week one game with Jefferson? What do you need to do to prepare before you guys go into that first game? We have to build, we have to build a team. We're, we're not there yet. We have to build a team that loves each other, cares for each other. They want to do their assignment for their brother uh, so they can be successful. What building blocks do you have to build on right now? We have a ton of building, bron excuse me, building blocks. We have guys that like to work hard, and you can do something with that. Guys that are eager to learn, they want it. They, they have the desire and the passion. As you look at the Western Buckeye League, your first time around, I, I know you're familiar with the conference. What, uh, what do you think Shawnee's goals are going to be once you get into that WBL? Week after week, one game at a time, because the WBL is a great conference. I played with Ben Monk at Cincinnati, and I'm aware of how good the WBL is. Uh, one week at a time, and each opponent is going to be great. A couple of scrimmages before that opener with Jefferson. What are you trying to get out of your scrimmages? Experience for the young guys, um, leadership for the older guys across the board, and team cohesiveness. You're going to have some ups and downs. You're going to have some, some bad plays. You're going to have some great plays. How do we respond to those great and bad plays? As you get ready for the season, how much do you have in mind that this is the type of offense we're going to run, this is the type of defense we're going to run, or are you open to, to changing that depending upon what you see out on the field with your players? Oh, it's all about our players. The players play the game. We don't. So you, you can draw up uh, on napkins or the whiteboard, whatever great play you have. Uh, if your players don't love it, buy into it uh, and trust each other uh, in their assignments and you don't use their, your personnel correctly. Uh, nothing else matters. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, John Carpenter from Shawnee. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Andy Lynch will join us and talk with some of the Shawnee players here on W. Welcome to the second quarter on the Seifert Orion's Funeral Home Warm-Up right here at Shawnee. I'm joined by a couple of the underclassmen, Bailey Young, the sophomore center and defensive end, sitting right to my right. 15 years old. None of the guys could believe it. He's only 15. He's to my right. And Ray Manley, the quarterback and a junior down at the end. Ray, let's start with you. Uh, tell us, how's the offense coming? New system, a little bit faster? How do you feel? Pretty great. We're throwing pretty good. Getting into the routine, starting out great. Got to know Coach Carpenter a little bit since since February. How's that process been for you and for the team in general? Helped us out a lot, really did. What yeah. are some of the things you guys did in the off season and summer to, to get to know each other? Uh, we did like camps together, got to know each other, hung out, went out to eat together, did a lot of stuff to become a big family. Bailey, how about you learning the offense uh, as the center? <laughs> You're snapping still, but a little different. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot different. I snapped last year, but I've really improved this year. And uh, it's because of the help of the team and stuff. And, uh, you know, we've, we've become one huge family. And all of us have started working together. And it's just really helpful. Coach talked about that a little bit, bringing Coach Ford on uh, to build that culture. What does that look like for Shawnee football? It looks great. It really does. I, I mean, at the beginning of the season, you know, we're iffy. But now we're, we're all, it's strong. It's a lot better. Been known as a, a run-first football team for many years. Is, is that going to stay the same? Are we going to seem a little more variable this year? Uh, I think we're going to see a little bit more variable this year. You know, it's, uh, it's, a whole it's a lot different from last year. Ray, would you agree? Yes. You guys have a, a special night coming up once this airs. It'll already have happened, but kind of a Shawnee night that you come together at Johnny Appleseed Park. Just kind of take us through that, Ray, what that means. Uh, we're going to come together, all sports like soccer and football, and we do like a national night out come together and uh, I don't really know. <laughs> How important is that for unity with the school? You know, you're, you're supporting the other sports that are coming out on Friday nights as well. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's all fall sports coming together and, you know, we're all, we're all, you know, one big family. We're all there. We're giving out food. We're giving out everything. I'll have to go then if you're giving out food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphus Jefferson for the opener. Three out of your first uh, four games are at home. Kind of a comfort level knowing that? Yes. What's the home field mean to you, Ray? means like we're going to win. I feel like we're going to win when we're home. <laughs> All right. Anywhere, for real. These guys are ready. Yeah. Uh, two days are underway here at Shawnee with Bailey Young and Ray Manley. When we return, more of the Seifert Orion's Funeral Home warm-up from Shawnee with two more players here on WSN.
Final round here at Shawnee on the Seifert Orange Funeral Home warm-up show as we're getting ready for the Western Buckeye League season. The Indians will open, of course, with Delphus Jefferson, uh, first year for that, and then Wapakoneta, the first WBL game right here at Shawnee. Always a rivalry game, Griffin Heights. Uh, you look forward to, to playing the Redskins again this year? Oh, yeah, every year. Uh, they're always a tough team in our league. They're a uh, power. They're going to run down your throat. But uh, we look forward to every year. It'll be a fun one. How has the transition for you gone under Coach Carpenter's offense and, and maybe a little different defense as well? Oh, it's gone very well. Um, we fit right in. Um, he's, he's got us out here working. We got everyone in their positions. Um, we look pretty good throughout the summer so far. I'm just excited for the upcoming uh, August. Zach Casey, senior wide receiver in safety. How's the secondary for the Indians this year? Uh, we're good. We got a couple new guys. Um, this will be my second year, but I got a couple of new guys in there. They're working good. They're working hard. Uh, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be just fine. How's it feel to be a senior? You feel like you're able to lead some of these guys this year? Yeah, it's, uh, it's different playing like a different role. You know, I never had to uh, lead before. I lead a team kind of. And, um, you know, I'm just getting used to that. You know, me and Griffin trying to get used to leading. Um, but, yeah. It's, senior year came way too quick. I can't, I can't. <laughs> You're not ready to be done. No, I'm not. I'm not ready to be done. I wish I had four more years, man. <laughs> Griffin, how about you leading as a senior? You've, you've obviously been in leadership positions before as quarterback, but uh, how's it different this year? Um, coach is just challenging me in ways that I've never been challenged before, um, expecting me to lead in different ways. And it's new to me, but I'm getting the hang of it, and I'm uh, getting it rolling. Having a guy like Coach Carpenter who's been around Urban Meyer at Ohio State, Brian Kelly at Notre Dame, Cincinnati, has he started telling some stories already, Griffin, about <laughs> some of those situations or how to lead like they did down there? Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of his stuff, um, he, he uh, relates it back to Urban and uh, Brian Kelly and stuff. But the main thing, he just – we, we tell stories, but it's more stories of the right things to do in situations. It's not the stories of – like. <laughs> You the know, national championship. Yeah, <laughs> not that kind of stories. Maybe someday those will come. Yeah, yeah. We're still early in two days here with the Shawnee Indians as we talk to Zach Casey and Griffin Heights. Zach, uh, a guy like Jesse Norris, I was asking before, still pretty fast. Oh. Just right out of his college career, is he giving you guys to run for your money? Uh, yeah, he's pretty fast. I mean, he has nothing on me, but yeah. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's pretty fast. He's, uh, he's going to be our track coach, too. He's going to help out for track, so. Yeah, he's, I'm glad and blessed to have him uh, and be an Indian again. Pretty exciting to have this young blood, Griffin, that's, that's in there kind of around your age you can relate to. Oh, yeah, it's, it's new, but I love every second of it. Uh, these guys bring energy every single day, and it's it's a uh, task for us to match it <laughs> and even <laughs> pa surpass it. So. Especially in the second part of two-a-days. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Well, best of luck to you guys. Delphi Jefferson comes thank here you. to open the season this year as we want to thank Mark Koontz and Joe Vernick for bringing you this Seifert Orion's Funeral Home warm-up here at Shawnee. We'll see you next time on WLSD.